Hello, this is a tutorial on how to create a patch cord. First thing you're going to need is a patch cable. This is a Cat5e cable. You're going to want to cut the jacket away about an inch and a half. Then you're going to want to cut this piece of fiber off here. Then you have four twisted pairs of cable. You're going to want to separate those. I like to use the jacket. Like so. Okay. Like so. Okay. Like so. After you've separated the pairs, you're going to want to straighten them out. Like so. You get them set after you get them straightened out, you're gonna wanna pair them together. You're gonna need the white orange, the next one should be the orange, the next should be the white green, then the blue, then the white blue, then the green, and the white brown, then brown. You're going to want to put them together, strain them out. Like so. You want to pull at it so they're all straight. Make sure they're in the right order. Again, that's white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. Then you're going to want to cut and leave about an inch of the cables. Make sure you cut it straight, like so. Then you're going to need a mod plug. And just push this through. Make sure all the pairs go into the right place. Like so. Then you're going to need a crimper. Put, and you crimp down. There goes one end. Now for the other side. I'm gonna remove the jacket. Like so. You're gonna cut this piece of fiber off. Then you're gonna separate the four pairs. Again, I like to use the jacket for that. It makes things simpler. One more pair. After you separated the pairs, you're going to want to straighten them out.
like so. Then you're going to want to put them in the right order, starting with white orange, then orange, then white green, then blue, then white blue, and green, and white brown and brown. You're going to want to Strain these out again. Make sure they're in the right order. You're gonna to want to pull on them so they're straight. Now you're gonna to want to cut the excess off. Get your mod plug, put it inside, push all the way into the end. To make sure that they're all at the back of this connector then again you're going to want to use your crimping tool and crimp down and that's all it is thanks again